Hey guys, Captain Fatty here, and welcome to the live training webinar for the IM Newbie. We're now on day five. Um, I'm actually on a minute earlier today, so I'm just going to quickly share this on social media. Um, I see yesterday we had an issue sharing this for some reason. Um, I think it's something got to do with the internet connection, maybe. Our Facebook stuff, and there's maybe lots of live feeds happening, whatever it may be. But we'll try again quickly. We've got a lot of great content to share with you guys today. So just give me a second or two to get going. Welcome, John. Welcome, Randall. Today was a pretty cool day. Um, we're still in lockdown, obviously, so I had to go shopping. And we had a lot of food before, but I missed my chicken pies and stuff like that. So what I did, um, you need an excuse to go out. And generation, it was goofy. I fly down to the shop as fast as I could. Um, I don't obviously people don't want to be stopped by the police. And then once I got my receipt and got my food, I drove home in first gear. I was I never drove as slow in my life. Windows down, enjoying the, enjoying the scenery and the fresh air. Uh, so that's it. Probably it for the weekend. Now let's hope if this shares and we'll get straight into the content. Any questions you guys have, let us know. Give us a shout out in the chat box where you're from, what you're up to, anything you would like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not sure if it's working or not. Um, let me just check my profile, it might help. No. Okay, I will be uploading the replays anyway, and it will be in the members area. So what we're covering today is traffic generation. Let me just share my screen. One sec, guys. Oh, that's what I keep doing. It sucks, guys. It would be nice to actually get this on Facebook as well. Okay, cool. We are going to go live. Right, so what we're covering today is traffic generation, module number five. Um, I highly recommend, I'm not going to be going through these training lessons. Basically, it's create a blog post, monetize your blog, how to get fast free traffic, finding profitable niches, and using Facebook to get traffic and leads. There's a lot covered in module five, guys. Um, for those who have been following or Everyone here should have access to I Am Newbie. Whether you got it for free this week or you've picked it up before, there's a lot covered in these modules which you should study and implement. A few months ago, I released a course called 10X Traffic, which to me, it's my most up-to-date traffic generation training that I have released in a long, long time. And Obviously we sell this daily, it's a very popular product, but what I'm gonna do in this is, I'm gonna talk about all the different methods, the nine methods here that are covered, and answer any questions you guys have. I'm gonna give you kind of live examples, like showing you my Facebook group and showing you my profile, but inside these actual videos, I show you live step-by-step -step examples of every single method of how I'm using it, the copy that I use, the, the the landing page, everything like that you see live. So I do recommend to study that as well if you have access. So what I did beforehand, I've opened up all the windows for this, for example, Facebook group, Facebook ads, um, Google ads, etc. 
and we're just going to go through it step by step. So any questions at any time, just let me know. Um, I just want to confirm something, guys. Please type into the chat box if you can see my screen clearly. And you can see basically 10x traffic on the screen. Just let me know inside the chat box. I can see. Excellent, excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Right, so we're on to my Facebook profile. Um, okay, I'll be straight, be transparent about Facebook. I started using it, whatever, maybe eight or nine years ago, but I'd no interest in using it for, you know, keeping up with friends or family or anything like that. I posted something, it was a kind of a rant on Facebook about something one day, and I realized the amount of attention it got, because I never really used the platform. So I posted something, hundreds of likes and comments. I think it was a rant about something that was happening local. So from there, I realized, whoa, there is a massive amount of people on Facebook, and you can get a lot of attention. And obviously, I was doing marketing. I was a marketer at that time. So then, all of a sudden, I started using Facebook to market my business online. So if you look at my profile and if you look at my friends list, for example, 90% of the people in my friends list I've cleaned. I used to have up to all those 5,000 friends and I removed hundreds of them or thousands of them in the past few months. So I've only left with 1,700 friends and I think we've got 2,600 followers here. Right. Um, so... If 90% of the people on my friends list or even 95% of the people that are following me, they're interested in marketing and they're interested in making money online. They're following me because of what I'm teaching. If you're a coach, a fitness, whatever it may be, um, you can go that direction. So my point would be, it's not like, here's what I'm having for lunch, here's what I'm drinking, here am I partying with my friends. I don't post those type of marketing those type of messages and make those type of posts. It would be kind of 80% would always be business. And then obviously we put in the odd family photo or something like that if I'm out playing golf, but not all the time. So 80% would be at least marketing messages and 20% family things. Then it would, I would break it down even more where we talked about the 80-20 rule yesterday. 80% of the time I'm delivering value on my social media. This week you can see, okay, there's marketing messages and there's links, but it's all free, free, free. I'm doing five days of free training, um, offering value. People are noticing, links are getting shared, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm just going to go down here a little bit more. Um, right, you can see 132 views from that one video. Um, so every day from this, we would have got maybe a thousand views from all of our videos just through sharing them on Facebook. Right, to the 80 20 rule. Um, obviously, you need some people. I generally can make money from Facebook, and everyone can make money from Facebook. I see some marketers just divide it and just use it for posting updates and stuff like that. But anytime I'm launching a new product, one of our new services, which is probably every single month, I will be marketing that on my Facebook profile at the end of today because it's been free value all week long and um, this weekend i'm gonna probably make a special offer and i might actually show you guys at the end of this video as well so that's just something to keep in mind and it does work right let's talk about friends and gathering friends um it's kind of black cat and it's you could say it, it works in one sense but basically if you're going to market on Facebook, you want to expand the list of friends that you have, which is very, very easy. Um, by going to any marketer's profile or by just being active in what's happening inside Facebook groups, for example, um, you can come along and start adding people to your list, people that you interact with or people that you like your post or that you want to follow. And then from there, you can, you can say, you know, now I've got two or three thousand friends that are actually interested in marketing. When I post a message, it's going to get more interaction. It's not going to happen overnight, guys. Facebook only allows you to add, what is it, 20 new friends every day. So month one, you could have the possibility of 600 new friends. After three months, you've got 1,800 new friends. So it works again. Another thing I do as well for my 
if people join my list um, inside our membership sites and places like that, I'm saying, at me as a friend on Facebook, I'm real. Um, I don't actually accept any, every single request anymore unless they drop me a message or whatever. Um, but if in many cases, they'll end up being a follower on Facebook as well. So that is important, that is the Facebook profile. Let's talk about, next is Facebook groups. Right, um, obviously, all of, most of you guys watching this should be active inside this group or should be a member of this group. It is 100% free to join. We've been posting links all over social media um, for this. Now, I am I'm consistent enough in this group, to put it that into perspective. Um, you would see marketers, they're inside a group two or three times a day, all us posting stuff, and every day they might do a live video or something like that. I'm not as active as that, but at least twice a week, I would post some useful content. It could be a training video, it could be a long post with something, it could be a free gift. And then maybe once or twice a week, again, if I come across either an affiliate offer or a special promotion that I'm doing, I post it inside my Facebook group. Now, again, 80-20 rule, it's 80% value, 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 and selling. There is another reason for this. Um, I've always thought and that you should engage with your subscribers in different ways. Uh, for example, I would say, okay, when someone joins your list, um, sometimes emails end up in the spam folder, sometimes people change their email address, sometimes they unsubscribe. So you've actually got no further contact with them. And that happens a lot. Now, if that person had joined your Facebook group, added you as a friend on Facebook, liked your, subscribed to your YouTube channel, liked your fan page, and whatever, subscribed to a messenger bot, you've got five different lines of communication with that person outside of email marketing. So next time you launch a product, doing a promotion, et cetera, you have a commun communication method. And what we, what tends to happen, people do unsubscribe at times, but then we launch a new product, we launch a new service, and they're back into our funnel again and back into our system. So groups, it just works. Um, it's a way to get traffic daily and it's a way to engage with your audience and build an actual community as well that helps people. Um, I'm very, very happy with the growth of this group. The engagement could be higher, but whatever. Um, there is people active. We know what gets traffic. Right. To wrap up on these two little minutes here, I will make a point. Um, when I started the promotion for the IMUB training series, which we're doing now, I started it on Monday around 10 o'clock, half 10. I started posting on social media. I posted inside our Facebook group and I posted it on my profile. I never even got a chance to post on our fan page. And there was, you know, by the time I got to send an email, which was about an hour and a half later, we had about 40 people already signed up for the webinar. We had over a hundred clicks from social media because we're giving away something for free. It goes a little bit more viral, it gets more attention. So there was the amount of traffic we've got to this campaign has been into the thousands of clicks, uh, maybe 1100 clicks. And I know around 400 of them might've come from actual social media, from me sharing every day from the original posts and from other people sharing as well. So it is a traffic source not to be ignored. Uh, okay. Let me see, any questions, let me know. Um, let me see, is there any questions on Facebook? No, okay, cool. Let's go on to the third method. Face, sorry, <laughs> I never did fan page, so let's talk about our fan page now. Um, online IM support. Okay. Right, our fan page, we have whatever amount of likes. I think it's around four and a half thousand. Yeah, I can't see, it should be somewhere. It's around four and a half thousand likes on this particular fan page. Right, people say that Facebook engagement likes aren't important and they're not gonna generate traffic. That's not entirely true. I would never do a, a campaign just to get likes on Facebook. That's a waste of money. But all your likes do actually count. 
Um, you can see here, sorry, 4,500 people like this and 4,600 people are following this page. So um, let's just look at some of the posts. This was, I can see that it was, let's just click on this. Okay, your organic reach was 93 people organically. So that's free traffic. And obviously we ran a paid campaign to it, which got the most traffic. Um, let's just look at something that I never ran any traffic to. I know past when I was doing more posting on this fan page, we, were, we could engage with uh, 22,000 people. That's paid traffic. Okay, here's one. It's got, it's not paid traffic. It's a direct post. It's got reached 195 people and I got three engagements with that. Let me see if I got any clicks, two post clicks. So whatever, every single bit counts, especially if you're doing it more often. I would obviously have more engagement on this. Your fan page is important. Again, it's another line of communication. If someone clicks like on your fan page, you can target them easier with Facebook ads and et cetera, et cetera. Right, um, let's talk about the next one, medium. Right, I started posting on Medium maybe a year ago, and I only po I posted very few articles, maybe 10 articles in total, just to see if I was getting any results from it. Because I know once you get content out there, over time it does generate traffic, and it's kind of evergreen traffic. Um, so here you can see my stats for February and March. Three views, three views, three, two views, two views. It's not a massive amount of traffic, guys. But again, it's free exposure every day from content marketing. Now, I'm not big into content marketing. I'm sure there's people out there with thousands of views every day for Medium because they decided it's their traffic source. Um, which I'll cover, I want to cover that now. I'll just stop for a minute. Um, when I talked about social media networks yesterday, when I said there's Instagram, there's Facebook, there's YouTube, there's Reddit, there's Pinterest, there's all these networks, which one works and which one should you use? Well, traffic generation is pretty much the exact same. Medium works, Google ads work, Bing ads work, Facebook works, Instagram works. Um, even paper click sites work for some people, solo ads might work for some people, once people master that particular method. So your goal should not be, okay, I'm going to create a plan to start dominating all these 10 traffic sources over the next two weeks. No, chances are you'll fail. You're going to pick one or two traffic sources, or three maybe, that you're going to start with that you can utilize your content, make a Facebook post out of it, make a video out of it, make a blog post out of it, for example. And those are the three traffic sources that you're gonna try and maximize, not everything. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a yes or no in the chat box. Yes, okay, excellent. Right, um, so that's medium. Let me start following this list here. Facebook fan page we've covered, the groups we've covered, the profile we've covered, the medium we've covered, YouTube. So I'm probably the most unsuccessful YouTube marketer out there for some reason. It's again, it's just not something I put a massive amount of effort into. And um, people comment on my videos. I never get around to commenting back or replying or anything like that. I'm, I'm more angled towards Facebook, like I explained before. But your channel. And let's go to Um, well, I'll just have a look at the videos in this sense here. A second. Right, so again, we are not consistently uploading videos, but every video we upload gets attention over time. Some of them might be reviews, and some of them could be... Let me find some of that got a lot of attention. Um, for example, getting paid with JVZ and Warrior Plus, we can see this got a lot of organic views. It's up to 400 organic views now. A video like that 
can go to thousands. Some of these ones, you know, they're not going to get more traffic. Um, how to double your clicks with messenger bots. You can see that's getting organic views as well. So it's set and forget evergreen traffic methods, if you want to call it when you're getting content like out like this, or for example, right. Um, this is for your traffic generation and this whole course is all about newbies and focusing on, I suppose, marketing online, but it doesn't matter what your game is, guys. If you're a coach, consultant, fitness and health, you're a cook. Um, there's going to be more people, especially the world that we live in right now. There's more people online looking for ways to make money. There's more people online looking for hobbies. There's more people online looking at YouTube videos. Let's just look at that as an example. So by dedicating yourself to saying, okay, my failure is with YouTube is because I'm not consistent. I'm consistent with other things. I'm not consistent with YouTube. But if you say, okay, I'm going to upload one video a day um, every single day for the next six months or for the next year. Um, we know, what's his name? I recall his name now. But he just passed 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel and YouTube sent him this plaque, which is really cool. And obviously when you've got 100,000 subscribers, you're doing pretty well. And his motto was, you know, in 2019, I said, I'm going to do one video a day. So he made 365 videos and then straight away, he's got 100,000 subscribers. Dedication, guys, to one method. You never really see him on Facebook. You never see him on Instagram. YouTube is his game. Um, there's also YouTube advertising as well. Um, again, the people that are in it, I know they're, they're, they're sending pet ads to videos, for example, growing their subscribers. And then when they post a video, YouTube notifies all their subscribers. They've got hundreds of views, even thousands of views within minutes. Uh, I'd be sitting back and looking at this and I'd be absolutely amazed how it's done. And it is impressive, guys. So YouTube, another really cool traffic method. Right, blog posting and sharing. I've got two blogs I'm going to open up here. This is our IM UB blog. It doesn't get a massive amount of traffic, um, but sometimes what I do is I can run Facebook ads to these directly. They have shown up in search engines in the past. I can share them on my Facebook profile, share them in my group as content, um, share them on my fan page, etc. Now, they're articles, they're good articles, um, professionally written, but they, <laughs> the biggest, the whole point of the articles is more or less pre selling the actual membership site or whatever topic or product we're trying to sell with this. So it's blog posts and sharing works. If you can't get SEO, you know, just because you write a thousand blog posts doesn't mean you're going to get a, a massive amount of traffic in this day and age. Um, top other companies and sites seem to dominate it, but they can be shared. They can go viral. You can run ads to them. You can pre-sell content. You could use this to build, for example, your Facebook audience. And then when someone has read your blog post, they're educated about your product, about your company, and then you can retarget them to products, etc. So that's the whole thing, I suppose, blog posts, when it comes along to traffic generation and making sales, the idea of a blog post would be to turn a cold traffic um, customer that doesn't have a clue about you or your business to turn them into a warmer prospect. And that is usually by giving value without having to ask for an email address or a credit card number. Okay, next on the list, we have solo ads. I've got no examples for this, but <laughs> I've got a lot of experience with solo ads. So I've got some time on this webinar, so I might as well give you a brief history lesson on solo ads. Um, I got into this game in 2007, and 13 years ago, basically. And for the first three, four, five, six months, I was clueless, doing my best to try and get five or even 10 subscribers in any one day. Um, clicking on sites for credits, posting articles, inside forums, doing everything I could. Now, I did build my list to around maybe six or seven hundred people over the space of 
three or four months using this these methods, these horrible traffic methods, but they, they were all free, they all worked. Right, then um, someone told me, Kevin, you should try test out solo ads. And I tested out solo ads then. I purchased my first solo ads and I ended up getting, I think it was 50 subscribers overnight. And I was like, oh my God, this is brilliant. I only made a few bucks back, but whatever, that was true to inexperience at the time. So at that time, money was really, really tight. Um, I was trying to, I was working another job. I was forced to go back and work another job basically. And I was doing the internet marketing business anytime I'd spare. I got any time I had $50 or 50 euro to invest, which I try to invest at least 100 euro every week into solo ads and into traffic. So I was getting maybe 100 new subscribers every week. And I did this for three or four months and I quit my job. That's the easiest way of putting it. Um, I just kept building up my list. I had a list of maybe two and a half thousand. I quit my job and were able to make more money from the internet. From there, I invested. At one stage, I was investing maybe, maybe five to thousand to eight thousand dollars a month into solo advertising. I built a list up. I had over two hundred and fifty thousand subscribers. Two hundred and sixty-five thousand subscribers was at my very, very peak. And I used to sell solo ads as well. It was a main part of my business model because I had invested so much over the years into traffic, you know, we could be spending $10,000 on traffic and we could be making back maybe $20,000 by selling traffic. And it worked really good. Um, it was all done through Skype groups then um, that, you know, people would buy traffic, they'd ask for a hundred clicks. And my only job would really be send emails and make sure everyone's getting the right amount of clicks. So, Long story short, um, if it's not long enough already, um, after a while, because everyone in the industry was buying and selling solo ads, there was this, you could say, Joe X was on one person's list. And on week two, he was on 25 lists. On week four, he was on 200 different lists. And everyone was being bombarded with emails all over the place. Um, in a nutshell, subscribers just started changing their email addresses, marking everyone to spam, unsubscribing. They realized that when people said, here, I've got a free gift for you, so enter your email, they were really just selling traffic. So the subscribers got more smarter. And the quality of solo ads got really, really bad. And a lot of fake sellers came into the industry. People were selling fake traffic. They were using bots. And even the industry, the way it is now, and the reason I kind of avoid solo ads is there's a lot of resellers out there. So you could go to John and he's got an excellent reputation for selling solo ads and he's charging 80 cent per click and you buy a thousand clicks off John. Well, John half the time is going to Joe and buying clicks off Joe for 50 cent. And that's how you're getting your traffic. Joe could be coming along to buying clicks off God knows who for 30 cent. And there's a lot of resellers the way I'm looking at it now. And that's the way I kind of avoid it. So how to use solo ads correctly and how I've used solo ads successfully in six months ago with a massive, massive ad spend on solo ads and through a co-op, there was over nearly $10,000 in money spent. And the best results came from personal relationships and making posts on my Facebook profile. So rather than coming along and contacting solo ad vendors that always sell traffic, and it's usually lower quality traffic, I was contacting people that have launched products in the past, so I know they've got a buyer's list, and maybe they're just looking for something, they've nothing to mail. So I'm gonna to say to them, here, who's got a free opening? I'm willing to pay you 80 cent a click or even $1 per click because I know your traffic is that good. So I'm buying a much higher quality solo ad and I'm getting real subscribers. So that personal approach to marketers works. Um, my exact post on Facebook was not exact. It was something like, hey guys, who's got an email list and who wants to get paid? up front. You don't have to worry about your EPCs. You don't have to worry about refunds, cash waiting right now. And a lot of people found it interesting. We got some people contacting me and they had no email list to read. Other companies contacted me with lists of golfers. And I said, no, it's, it's more into marketing. But anyway, after a while, we got five top vendors and we made a lot of money from, from those people. And um, because 
it was it was buyer's traffic. Right, so that's my input on solo ads. Uh, be careful where you buy from. Um, try and buy from people that don't regularly sell solo ads. And if you're, I think what from my experience, the solo ads lists, the subscribers on those lists are more interested in business opportunities. Kind of like, you know, matrix programs, multi-level marketing, um, done for you programs and stuff like that where our business we sell information marketing products which is it's a lot different okay um right let's go to facebook ads next i've got facebook ads opened um facebook ads we're always having fun with them because as i explained they <laughs> i have a campaign running for a week and sometimes it gets turned off for some whatever reason and then i need to get back to it and and actually look at it but Wait, when you, Facebook is just a really, really awesome traffic tool that people should um, should learn and understand. There's a lot of people that rely on one single traffic source. Um, now, this is a solid way to put that, guys. And I think I'm happy that we have a business where we've got different streams of traffic, different streams of income. But if you were to take away some people that only do product launches, for example, and they rely on affiliates. If you take away their affiliates, they might be left scratching their head. They're going to need another traffic source. If YouTube was to close your account after you build it up to 10,000 subscribers, which can happen, you might say, if they get YouTube, I need another traffic source. And the same goes for Facebook. If, if Facebook was to shut down, you need to master something else. So, right, just to show you, um, this is this is an overview of my account. I've got some ads running. It's not a Facebook um, lesson, but I just want to show you that Facebook ads can generate you a lot of traffic. You can see eight, over 8 million impressions. We've reached 1.2 million people. We've spent 33,000 euro on Facebook advertising. Um, again, it just, it's something we've always used in our business. That works. And the campaigns that we're running now is basically, we're always split testing. Um, so this, it's not active for some reason. I need to look at it, but there's an overview of this campaign. It is people that who have visited IM checklist in the last 10 days. So someone visited our site, imchecklist.org, and they leave and go back to Facebook for the next 10 days. Generally, they're going to be seeing our ad. Um, after 10 days, if they haven't clicked and haven't purchased, I just leave them alone. So it keeps the ad spend low, it's an evergreen campaign that I can just leave running for months and months. Generally, they can't run for years. They, they, something needs to be adjusted, but something like this can definitely run for months on end. And inside the um, campaign, I'm actually split testing. I was split testing different images at the beginning, and then I've got a short copy and a long copy. And when I was just turning off the campaigns that were delivering the worst results. Now, let's just look at the cost of results. The average cost per result is 99 cent. Um, this one's 62 cent, 74 cent, 88 cent, 95 cent, $1.198. So it's just an important quick example. You know, this ad is costing $1.98 per click, and this ad is costing 62 cent per click. So obviously, this ad should be turned off. All these things need to be looked at. And if you, I'm getting traffic from Facebook, from this particular audience for 62 cent a click guys there's money to be made that's the easiest way of putting it i'll happily pay one dollar one dollar fifty per click with facebook um for our target audience um which is it's great okay that is facebook ads google ads we've got the same love hate relationship and um, we've always got campaigns running and sometimes they <laughs> tend to turn them off let me just put down all time. I'll just give you a look at the cost and overviews. Okay, so 2,540 clicks from Fit Google, um, 161,000 impressions, and 75 cent per click. 
which again is, it's just brilliant because I know of the countries I'm targeting, I know how I'm running my ads. That's excellent. And I've spent whatever, one, $1,910 from the campaigns that we've been running. So me personally, I need to get back in and get these campaigns up and running and figure out the issues. It's just, they've been lying here for a few weeks and um, just other things on the go really. But again, it's, as I said, we have different sources of traffic and different sources of income. So it's not vital. But for some people, or if you're trying to get your, your list off, off the ground, your business off the ground, you could say, right, I'm going to learn Google Ads. I'm going to focus on this and spend, you know, an hour or two every day inside Google Ads, setting up new campaigns, tracking, adjusting, et cetera, et cetera. It's a, it's a, a solid network for traffic. Okay, um, right guys, that is a wrap on those nine traffic sources. The four other pet traffic sources here, I will just explain them. Um, you can go along and buy advertising inside of the Warrior Forum. You can buy advertising on JVZoo's homepage. You can buy advertising on ClickBank. You can buy advertising pretty much in any single forum out there. Um, there is a ton of different places where you can come along and do that. Munch Eye, for example, it gets thousands of visitors every single day. You can place advertising on that. Just be very, very careful of what you're trying to advertise to and where. Um, for example, on JVZoo's homepage, you're trying to get people into an SEO funnel or something like that it mightn't be the best idea because mostly it's affiliates going there looking for products to promote. So if you're trying to get JV partners, it might be worth it, but it's expensive. Um, Warrior Forum, you know, we've, tr we've used that for two different reasons. We used it to try and get JVs on board, which had a little effect. And then we've used it to try and get customers, which had a very good effect. So you just got to, you got to test it and you got to know who's on those sites and do they match your product or your offer or whatever you're trying to actually sell. So, okay. Um, is there any questions, folks? This will be my last live webinar for actually a few weeks, um, for two or three weeks anyway, at least. Um, we obviously, we do the live IM VIP training webinars every month. But I'm actually, I am actually thinking there could be another live webinar in, in a week, um, but it will be for customers. So if you're an IM VIP training member, you will probably have access to that as well. Um, I'll give you guys a quick update of what I've done and how you can access all the replays here. And then if no questions come in, it's going to be pretty much a wrap. Uh, I've got a QA and a here. Uh, Joe, I just seen your question. Okay, how much time do you invest per day on average? Where do you get your content? Okay, um, right, how much time do I invest per day on average? Today, one, two, today will be around three hours, maybe maximum four hours, and that's actually, lately, that's a lot of work. Um, usually I'm only doing one or two hours per day just because of yesterday I did a training webinar for I am VIP training members and it was how I outsource 90% of my business. So the way our business model is now and the way we've set it up and worked on it and the process is in place, we have more or less everything is set until the end of September. Um, I might do additional launches if I want, but everything is more or less set until the end of September. Um, the processes are in place that we've got a copywriter doing the copy, we have someone doing design, we have support looking after support, and everything is just good. So I'm lucky in that sense. But what I did cover on yesterday's webinar, and I'll share that now, I've got, let's say, three part-time outsourcers, contractors, whatever you would like to call them. And... They're not full-time, but if you had to put the three of them together, it's definitely a full-time job. So if I was to not outsource and do my one or two hours that I have to do anyway, I would probably be working eight to 10 hours per day. And I think a lot of marketers do that. A lot of marketers are working eight to 10 hours a day because they want to do things themselves, which is okay. Um, generally, I like to outsource. I want to spend time with my family, summer's coming, etc. Um, and it outsourcing allows me to move a lot, lot faster with less pressure. Ah, uh, good question. Let me see if there are any questions on Facebook. Um, yeah, sorry, these are the updates. So basically, I've updated the IM 
VIP training members area. Um, everyone here should have access. We've over 8,750 students. That's actually a live tracker. Um, and I was giving away access to this course this week. So the replays, you can see day one, two, three, and four are here. And this replay will be available in an hour once I upload it. And you can see all our previous training and updates here and access to the 18 training courses here as well. Right, um, do, do. let's see if anything's happening on Facebook. Or are here and no. this week will be available. Okay guys, um, it is going to be a wrap. Um, I want to thank everyone who attended all these webinars. I hope you enjoyed the content. There is between the 30 training videos inside IM Newbie, the step-by-step -step training on every single step, and the five live training webinars, which I've done this week. If you're just starting off, if you've never done anything online, you have enough information there to get the basics of your internet marketing business set up by looking at the the module five inside I am newbie we cover how to find your products how to do affiliate promotions so you can set up and actually make your first permission get your first few subscribers and that's that's the idea of the I am newbie training course and that is the stepping stone you know I spent as I said three four five months messing around unable to make any money online until I learned this basic stuff. Once I knew this basic stuff, um, sky is the limit. Everything is the same. Marketing, any funnel, any business, anything. It's always the same process once you understand the basics. So Kevin Faddy guys, have an awesome day and thank you very much.